Hey everyone, welcome to Edison Bob. Today we talk about Karura and the KUSD protocol activation which failed because the referendum was sniped. If you like the content, make sure to like and subscribe and also follow us on Twitter. So let's jump in. What a day, what a night. This was a really interesting moment and I also think a historic moment. It actually started with uh, Betty Chan from, from Akala uh, announcing uh, half a day ago that the minting of KUSD will start, that the KSM KUSD asset pair is going to list and will be bootstrapping and the liquidity incentive program uh, should start. And it was a real tweet storm with a lot of details as we are used to and also an interesting graphic uh, providing us with some details on what is happening, for example, with the car KSM pool. And you can see the development of the distribution of the, of the liquidity. So really interesting. And everyone was getting ready. And the plan for tonight was to uh, launch it all off with a crowdcast. So right uh, ahead of the event, uh, there is the discourse group from Akala and they have been posting all of their proposals so that everyone can read up on the proposals. So it's three uh, different proposals, uh, all of which can be voted on. And so for example, enable minting on the KUSD stablecoin. You can go in there and you read all the details. And of course they wanted to launch it with the crowdcast. They've explaining everything. And during the launch, uh, during the crowdcast, it happened. Dan Reeser was showing us that the actual referendum for the activation of the KUSD minting did fail. It did fail. So what happened here? We're going to take a, a minute now and look at a few of the details of why this vote failed um, so that everyone understands what happened. And uh, um, then we also take a second to look a little bit closer into the data of the actual vote failing. So what we're seeing here is the outcome of the vote. And we are seeing that it uh, did not pass, so the, uh, the result is already determined. And so it seems like it, the, the vote was failing with about two thirds. So 84,000 84, car voted against and 52,000 car voted for. So did users not want to have this feature or what was happening here? Well, we can look at the data and we can look who voted uh, with uh, what results and we can look at all the votes and what we're seeing is that a lot of people voted for, a lot of people voted for, but only one uh, user voted against. And so if we look at exactly the data, we are seeing that a user with 21,000 car voted against, but you see this multiplier here. And what does this multiplier mean? It is sort of uh, the conviction that you're having. So the democracy module actually allows you to express your conviction. How important is it to you uh, that a certain proposal passes or does not pass? And so it looks like a single whale, we could say a small whale with 21,000 car voted with a very strong conviction against this happening. Um, and oh, the, so the question is, uh, was this not seen? Did nobody vote with conviction or what is actually happening? So one thing we know is that the last block uh, that seems to have happened for this proposal was the block with the number 276,342. And what we're seeing is that the no vote was the last vote that came in and it only came in 22 blocks ahead of the closing of the vote. So it was really sniped. It was um, 22 blocks of, with 12 seconds. This is only a few minutes, you could say. It's like four, four or five minutes before the closing of the vote. Someone ca came in with a very strong vote 
and voted this down. And it was a single person, as it seems. Uh, I took the time to download all of the data for the vote. And so what you can see is uh, if you sort this by the number of car that is locked, um, this wasn't this wasn't the biggest person voting, but it was the second biggest person voting. So there was someone voting with 67,000 car, but very weak conviction. Uh, we have a few votes with a few thousand car and a little bit of conviction, but it seems like uh, the attacker or the sniper of this referendum uh, just used the power of the full conviction to uh, to really shoot down this vote. Um, and when looking at the actual uh, crowdcast, you could see that uh, the team wasn't very happy about this. And they were also mentioning that they have to make sure in the future that more people are going to vote for the election. And I assume that, uh, and this is the big uh, lesson that every one of us could learn today if we are participating in this and especially the big whales uh, and the small whales uh, that are participating they need to vote with the proper conviction to make sure that a vote is happening um, so what's going to happen next i mean i guess some people will want to find out uh, who this whale is but I guess the team will also have to make sure to communicate uh, how the actual voting works and make sure to mobilize more people for the voting. And in the end, uh, they will just repeat the referendum and make sure that the actual uh, result is that we are getting our KUSD stablecoin protocol as well as the new KSM KUSD pair, the swap, and that we're getting the incentive program which would have been the actual topic for the videos for the video today. Um, but so we saw a little bit of drama. We lost a few days, but I assume everything is going to be fine. If you want to know uh, what happens when the swap goes online and so on, make sure to like and subscribe the channel and um, maybe also follow us on Twitter. Uh, if you want to support the channel and maybe uh, also earn interest in your KSM, uh, you can stake with us. You will find the link in the description. Um, so I hope you're having a good day and stay safe.